ever vigilant, even in his sleep. Quite vampire-like, in fact. Are you absolutely certain they don't administer a few of our genes during the trial of the grasses? Far as I know, none. Now what you got for me? You were right. No kobolds or vermoons for miles around. So it's it. white. Allow me to finish. You see, there's this spot of white. It haunts an abandoned residence in the Caraberta woods. Impossible. My brethren hunted down every last spotted white before I was born. Then it seems you must revise your knowledge of spotted whites. For somehow this one managed to survive your brethren's onslaught. Hmm. It seems I know this home it haunts. Recall a tale about it. Locals believe the place cursed. Perhaps that's how the white survived entirely unmolested. Hmm. Know anything else about this curse? I don't recall much in particular. Really don't attach much importance to such things. It was mentioned to me as an anecdote, no more. Come on, search your memory. Something, anything could be important. Hmm. I believe it had a relation to hunger, or, uh, no, um, perhaps greed, rapacity. Someone was punished for something... <laughs> Textbook definition of a curse, pretty much. Sorry, Geralt. I try not to clutter my mind with the details of every far-fetched tale I happen to hear. Hmm. What are your thoughts? A specimen of a species thought long extinct, and a curse in one place. That a coincidence, or are they related? Ah, professional curiosity. Personally, I've nothing against you delving into this dilemma, but please remember we need the White's saliva. Nothing beyond that. Alright, so we don't have to hurt it. Whites rarely appear in the woods, even less likely to find them in abandoned human homes. They inhabit remote wildernesses, old abandoned cemeteries. What's your point? This might not be a spotted white after all. Your little helper might have made a mistake. I sincerely doubt it. Ravens are devilishly intelligent creatures, and they've highly developed observational skills. What exactly did they observe? The area around the estate. It's covered in... spoons. Spoons? Spoons. Spare me the skeptical smile, I'm but the bearer of this news. Well, perhaps this spotted white is a hoarder. Or well, the spoons are somehow related to the curse. Let's do this. Start making your decoction while I go get some saliva from that white. Uses it in its bruise. If you imagine the white will simply sell you some. Worst case scenario, I'll bring you its salivary glands. They ought to do as well. <laughs> For a moment there, I imagined you asking the white to spit into a vial. <laughs> Quite amusing as a thought, but the salivary glands will do fine indeed. So, see you later. Yes, till later. I shall start by perusing some tomes. Tomes? Thought you were gonna make this decoction. We require one last ingredient. Alas, obtaining it could prove a trifle toilsome. Thus, I hope to identify a suitable alternative. All right. Good luck. And to you, my friend. Trying to tell me something. None shall sit and dine with you at your table. No spoon you have shall sate you. Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. Sounds like a curse, all right. Somebody's clearly obsessed. Regis mentioned the place might be cursed. Can't be a coincidence. Need to look around. Cauldron's empty, unfortunately. Regis needs some gruel. Afraid he won't get that. No choice but to hide and wait for the saliva glands and their bearer. Need a spot that'll let me observe the cauldron.
should lift the curse. I don't want to kill her. Kind of feel bad for her. to bring folk here, convince them to sit at the table with you, right? Well, I'm gonna be your guest now. Your willing guest. She understands. shall say to you never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror so we can't use spoons swap spoons well it's not let's see one more time need to get this right words of the curse were none shall sit and dine with you at your table no spoon you have shall say to you Never again shall you wish to spy your reflection in the mirror. So let's 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 eat but not use spoons. We can't use spoons. No, that won't work. You've been looking for a spoon that would feed you, but there's no such spoon. We need to eat without spoons. Oh, what are we about to eat? Before we do that, it worked. Just not quite like I expected. Need to see what happened to the white. It won't be hard to find given its stench. Shh, easy. Not gonna hurt you. Eat. I, I must eat. safe. Oh, sweet. She can stay in my place. Oh, is the get- So I took her by the hand and let her here. Seemed the only sensible place for her. You did the right thing, sir. She should recover quickly here. Nice. Don't worry, sir. I shall see to everything. She is safe here and in good hands. She'll soon be back on her feet. Might actually take a while. She hadn't eaten anything in over a hundred years when I found her. Horrid. Whatever brought this about? Told me her story on the way here. Her name's Marlena. 
She was once the very beautiful and proud heiress to the Trastamara estate. One evening, when she was holding a banquet for friends, a beggar came to her gate seeking alms. He had a bowl and a spoon with him. He sat outside her fence and waited. I've heard of the custom. An ancient rite of hospitality that obliges one to give food and drink to such a guest lest he depart hungry. To neglect the custom is to bring great misfortune down Damn. upon oneself. Marlena didn't care a whit for the old customs. She drove the man off, saying she'd rather feed the leftovers from her feast to her dogs than to give the beggar anything. The beggar then broke his spoon, cast a curse. She was beautiful, so he said she'd never wish to look at herself in the mirror again. Since she adored feasts, he swore no one would ever yeah. wish to sit and dine with her. And as she even refused him the crumbs from her table, he swore she'd never find a spoon in the world that would sate her hunger. A harsh punishment. I imagine lifting the curse was hardly simple. Curses are tricky. They play on irony. Always gotta figure out what the catch is. Marlena had spent decades looking for a way to lift it. Transformed into a white, she stole spoons and lured folk into her home, trying each time to get them to dine with her. Didn't work. So what did? Someone had to sit down and share a meal with her, of their own free will. They had to eat without using spoons and make her look at her reflection. That's it? That was all it required? Simplest solutions are sometimes the last that come to mind. Besides, when you're a white, it's pretty damn hard to find mm. willing human company for a feast. Yeah. I imagine so. But, most importantly, it is now over. Please, don't worry. She will be in good hands here. Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon.